night is over, I will guide you home. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. What do you think, Goose? That's pretty crazy, huh? You guys, check out these birds that are just right here in the backyard. They're just hanging out. So I think the females that is, so the females in the water and the males in the grass. Very cool. Because the female's smaller, smaller maybe. Bigger. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that species of stork or pelican or whatever that is works. So unfortunately we have to leave this beautiful boondockers welcome property but the good news is we are headed south towards Miami, Florida towards the Everglades National Park to meet up with my family. My dad, my stepmom, my sister, brother-in-law, and the cousins are all gonna be there, and we have a really exciting adventure planned for the entire family. I cannot wait, but first, we gotta pack up. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. What's going on, bud, bud? What's going on? You're breathing awfully heavy. So some of you guys are probably wondering, what are we gonna do with this guy while we are on the cruise? Well, uh, we were wondering that same thing. So we started doing some research and figured out there's this website called Rover. We're not sponsored by any way, so this is a completely unbiased uh, opinion and suggestion. The best way that I can describe it is think like Airbnb for dogs. So we basically just looked up a uh, house or a uh, sitter that fits our needs. They accept their big dogs, the, the dates that they had were available. You can even and sort it by depending on whether they have like multiple dogs at once, whether they'll take them for walks, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, we're getting ready to drop them off. We'll see how it goes. We have made it to our event today. Today we are going on an airboat ride or a fan boat ride. Uh, if you guys remember, if you've been watching us for a while, last year when we were in Orlando, we went and did a swamp boat tour there and it was amazing. But Goose might be a little more excited this time because her cousins are gonna be with her. So the entire family is gonna go on the boat. Apparently it's like one of these big boats that holds like 20 people. So I'll be curious to see how this feels comparatively to the more private, intimate uh, uh, airboat ride that we went on. The thing I'm not sure they have is uh, last year they had like these walkie-talkies that you could talk to each other through the headphones, kind of think like a little prop plane, the four-seater planes have those headphones you can talk to each other. I don't know if they have these for this big, huge boat. It would be cool, but I don't know if they do. On your land. Do 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 Boom Dockers, welcome. <laughs> You guys have heard us talk about it before, but you know that we love Boondockers Welcome. We've used it for quite a while now at tons of locations across the states and highly recommend it. This is honestly a great way to pick the brains of RVers, 
meet some really cool people. So the way Boondockers Welcome works is it's similar to other uh, property hosting things in that there is the host side and then there is the guest side. So even if you aren't wanting to be a guest like us, like Ashley was saying, you can sign up to be a host and have people like us come to your properties. And the great thing about that is, is with almost every host we've stayed with, we've had time to sit and talk with them, have a drink with them. We've even had dinner with them before mm -hmm. and share stories both from them and from us. So it's a great way for hosts like potentially you to learn about the RVing lifestyle. So, Who doesn't want us on their property? Come on, put us <laughs> in your sure, driveway. I'm sure most of you don't want us <laughs> in your property, but if you do want people like us coming to your house, uh, invited, invited specifically, uh, then Boondockers Welcome is a great way to dip your toe into this RVing lifestyle. So if you guys want to learn more, go ahead and click the link down below. It will take you to Boondockers Welcome and you can learn about all the different places just to see if it's something that you're interested in. Boondockers welcome. Hey, what about me? You be nice to me in here, James. Why? I know there's creepy. Are there snakes? Yeah. I think mom's actually gonna try and pet the snake. Goose, you gonna do it? What'd you think, love? Ooh, oh, she did it. Did she touch it, Mav? So smooth, Sammy. What did you think? What did you think? So smooth. It was. It wasn't. I was expecting it to be wetter. I'll have you know. Every time we see a snake, she's like, Auntie Christy would love this. We should send her a Marco Polo. <laughs>
Do it. Do it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Nice. How does it feel? Smile. Beautiful. All right, who's next? Right here. Oh. Okay, turn this way. Look at me. Thank you. How does it feel? What does it feel like? <laughs> She's going to a giggle shop. All right, who's next? Uh, are you going to do it, Mom? <laughs> two years old. Oh, he's two? Yeah, I told you, though. They're the same age. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Good job, Nav. <laughs> so what did you think of the airboat ride, babe? I liked it. It was different from the last one. Right? It was, like, okay. So obviously... A private tour, it, I mean, my mind was going to be a little bit better than a giant tour full of 20 or 30 people. Yeah. But this definitely was more affordable as far yeah. as the cost goes. Um, I, I mean, I found it on Groupon, so that was great. The think, price was right. I think right. you only got it for like 30 bucks a person or something pretty affordable, right? Something to that extent. It was pretty cheap that we got. And uh, the other tour was, I think, well over 100 bucks a person. So you get what you paid for. But having that, the headphone, like, like I was oh, talking about, man. the walkie-talkie thing, yeah. so much better. Because you had like the personal tour guide that pointed out the gators to you and whatnot. And Rather if you, than getting like pieces of cotton to try and shove in my youngest ears. <laughs> that was, like, That's not going to happen. That was a joke. And also, if you noticed uh, that every time the guy talked, he would have to kill the engine and shut off the engine. So it was constantly on and off. And he just didn't give as much information as Whereas, the like, last one. Yeah, the last one, it was just... Here's this, here's that. Oh, check over there. Like, I kept seeing gators and everything, but you can't tell anybody. I'd be like, oh, and everybody else is like looking over here, and I'm like, never mind. Plus, it's just, it's more one on one. It's more like you yeah. and the guide. So, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It was expected. It was still a really fun time. Plus, Goose loved hanging out with her cousins. So, I mean, that was a win right there. What were you saying, babe? I just enjoyed, I think his name was Captain Clark. I just really enjoyed him the last time. Yeah. But this time, I have to say, we got to hold the gator, so... Yeah, that, that was kind of a cool exciting. little perk at the end, is that a baby gator ready there there for you to hold. La, la, la. How did that feel, by the way? I don't think I filmed you holding it. Oh, you didn't? Uh-uh. I finally do something, like, awesome without having to be persuaded, and you don't even get it on film. See, he doesn't film me being brave. Before we close the vlog, I wanted another uh, reminder announcement that this is the final week for entering in for the RV mat, the big home is where you park it RV mat. Usually you'll only have about 10 days to enter for the rest of the giveaways this summer, but since this was the first one, you guys I think had a full two weeks or even longer to enter in for this one. So there's already I think something like 99 people that have entered it in, uh, with an average of like two to four entries per person. Yeah. So uh, I even added a new way to get points uh, as of today or I guess yesterday when this video goes live. So if you've already been there, be sure to go back because there are ways that you can actually earn points on a daily basis if you yeah. want to. So and guys, like I love our RV. I know that it's not for everybody because not everybody has an RV, but the RV mat, I love it. Yeah. That and there's so many cool things that we have been able to acquire this i'm just so excited I've, about some of them i said it before um but we have a lot of giveaways things in ranging from price like i said from some that are probably lower in probably 15 20 bucks but some are in the hundreds of dollars uh really excited about the giveaways i wish i could keep them all for myself but i can't there's uh, there's a couple of things that i'm like but next week we will be announcing the winner i believe from this giveaway as well as in the other video we will be announcing the start of the new giveaway I will let you know what it is then. Uh, if always you guys don't see the video, you can go to uh, thechickslife.com and there's the epic summer giveaways tab there that you guys can check out. And that's got the all the entry areas and we'll have the most up-to-date giveaway and what's going on right now. I'll put a link right there in the description down below. You guys can go check that out. But as always, guys, remember, stay positive. Get out there. Life is an adventure. So make some memories.